In this video, we're going to try to understand language of price action using price action rules. And I'm going to go through my thought process that I approach today's market with. And we're going to learn how to identify trend channels early before they are formed. Today's structure started with the trend range and notice massive bullish spike. This was caused by the news and this is news driven event. Now I ended up following this short term channel. Why am I looking for these channels? Because these candles, they are never alone on the chart. They are not just blindly being printed on the chart. There's always some form of a pattern that these candles are following. And my goal is to identify the proper channel so I can follow the price action correctly and stay on the right side of the market. Now, I used even early on this channel right here, which I didn't end up using because it seems a little bit too wide. And since this was caused by the news, a lot of times these price spikes caused by the news tend to get reversed and negated fairly quickly. But since we're talking about this wider pattern, we're going to use this example to talk about how to identify channels. A lot of times when you have a move like this, the channel can be identified from the very beginning of the move using market geometry. Notice first swing, second swing, third swing confirmation. From the first few swings, you will a lot of times will be able to identify the channel and you will see if it get confirmed later on. So this is how you can identify the channel. Every single time you see a formation like this at the lows or at the highs of the move, you can always have a possibility of the channel being present. Now we can see that we have a downtrend working lower. I'm going to redraw it. We have a break, new extreme, indicating the downtrend played out. And we have push up of EMA. So I need to do the same thing. I'm going to redraw the uptrend. I have a break, new high, and I have new low. First entry short pullback, second entry short failure. But we are not quite close to exponential moving average. I wasn't sure whether we didn't have a new high. So I was being patient here and I just saw this market go higher. Now, since we are still in the pre-market structure, what I did, I identified the pre-market high of the day, the key level important one that may come into play later on. Now notice what is happening. We're pushing higher, so I'm going to redraw the uptrend, but I'm not going to make it even wider because I think this is a train range. We have a dilemma here. Is this a strong uptrend? Because it looks like there's a bullish bias. Can I draw a wider pattern like this? I cannot. Why? Because this is not how uptrends are behaving. If this were to be an uptrend, we would have behavior like this consistent series of higher highs and higher lows. Bear with me on my drawing here. This is how the uptrend would look, but it doesn't look like this. It looks like this big up, correction, and the second leg to new extreme. We have first leg here. Correction, second leg to new extreme depletion. So when I see this, this is resembling a trend range structure. I have up, down and up. So I'm thinking that the prices may pull back, but I cannot really pick a top just yet because the trend range is just being established. And just because I'm leaning more bearish doesn't mean I can't pick a top. It would be quite aggressive. I never know when I can get stopped out. I need to see stronger confirmation. So we're just watching here and the prices eventually ended up pushing lower. We are quite far away from EMA here. We are pulling back into the string range, confirming the bearish bias. So right now I'm playing the short and downtrend. I have a break, couple pushes to a new extreme. And notice how if you're just following the short and channels, they will keep you on the right side of the market. Now, once again, I have a break multiple X to a new extreme, but we are still quite bearish. So I'm just going to be patient and see what the prices are going to do. We're pushing above EMA, so I'm going to redraw the correction. And we have new low form, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. But downtrend played out, uptrend is in play, so I cannot take second entry short. Even though second entry short is a high probability setup in a downtrend structure, this is not a downtrend. Downtrend played out, we're correcting, we have a break, move to a new high, and we're pulling back below EMA. Now, when I was watching this and I saw uptrend having a break in the extreme, this started to look a little bit more bearish, and I was looking for a lower high. Why? Because when we look at a structure like this, we can see that it's looking quite bearish and notice the first two swings right here. They can help us identify a potentially wider channel like this because the first two swings will set up the trend line, third swing will confirm it, and if I drag it to the bottom, I can see that it fits nicely even off the lows. So this right here is a confirmed downtrend with the break and new high of the uptrend and we're looking for lower high confirmation and we never get it. So the bearish structure is continuing, we have a lower high too far from EMA, it moved too far down. At this point on, I'm just being patient and following the price session. I have uptrend working, first entry short, pullback, 
second entry short. But right here, we're above EMA, big bearish bar, but we are above EMA and I cannot tell. And it also looks like there's a slightly wider pattern in place. So I'm just being patient. I'm looking for lower high that would confirm the second entry short. Every single time something is wrong with the second entry, just like here, it is above EMA or possibly uptrend is in play. I wait for confirmation. I wait for a lower high. So I expect for this downtrend to create new extreme, but I don't get new extreme. Instead, I get sideways movement like this. I have EMA flat, up and down swings. So I'm going to identify a trading range like this. I'm going to copy it, put it at the top. My bias remains bearish and I'm just watching prices go. We have new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long failure. But this is a bullish bar. Next bar is way too big. Your stop loss has to go all the way down here. So I cannot go short. And notice we are at the lows of the trend range. I'm still thinking bearish. This is just a correction. We came from the high. I expect to get new extreme. I'm following the rule. We have a break new high for the uptrend. So right here, we have a new high form, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. Now, when I was watching this, I was thinking that we may get a failed second entry long because traders may get trapped going long on the second entry on the wrong bias because we traded down into the string range. So we expect continuation down. All right. But notice what happened. Take it higher, reverse it down. And this is way too big of a failed second entry long. There is no way for me to enter this safely. I would wipe out all my winning trades on this one trade had it failed. And I don't want to enter engulfing because you're at the bottom of a trading range and this is not really the proper place for engulfing. But this would be a decent felt second entry long because a lot of buyers are about to get trapped buying the bottom of this trading range. Okay, we traded down, correction, we expect new low and notice new low was formed according to trend line rule. And notice where we are finding the support right here at the important key level that you identify early. I cannot buy, however, because the prices are looking quite bearish. And notice prices are pushing above EMA. We have new low, first entry short, second entry short failure. We have high low, but once again, bearish bar. This bar is quite big. Prices are reversing and never gave you an opportunity to enter. So once I'm watching this, I'm going to redraw a shortened channel because my goal is always to identify channels. Notice we have a break, new high. And once we are pushing higher, I would be expecting to get a second entry long like this at the exponential moving average at the key entry point, but it never happened and prices are just pushing higher. And you can already see that I was sitting here for quite some time without a decent high probability setup and it can happen sometime. I just need to be patient because high probability setup, it's not going to form every five minutes. It's a very high probability setup Then everything is to align in price action. So I can see that we have uptrend break new high, but notice how strong this is looking. This is very strong move up we haven't even touched the ema and once again notice the lows here i can use these first two swings to help me identify a channel i'm just going to copy it put it at the top and since this move is quite strong i expect the wider channel to be formed this channel is just too tight for this big of a move i'm going to redraw a shortened downtrend working lower because i always need to follow the shortened channels all right so this is how i'm approaching the market just looking for these channels looking for the corrections is following the trend line rule and looking for high probability setup. Now that the structure has changed and the structure is bullish, high probability setup is a second entry long or felt second entry short or high low. And notice what we have, new high, first entry long, second entry long. Can I take it? I cannot because the downtrend is in play, okay? This downtrend right here needs to get new extreme. This is just a first break. And notice what happened. It would have filled you in, stopped you out instantly. This was very tempting. But this is why we draw these shortened corrections because they can help us stay on the right side of the market. And this right here is what I call a double trap because everybody going long too early, they got stopped and everybody going short too early, they getting stopped out as well. But this right here, unfortunately, is a bad signal bar. Had this closed much strong bullish, this would have been a great entry because it also confirmed the key entry point. Notice off the first two swings, you're able to identify the channel. Prices came back all the way down here. Two key entry points, EMA and the trend line are holding. This would be a great entry had it been much stronger and not just bearish like this. All right, so prices are pushing higher. We have new high, first entry long, second entry long again. Two key entry points, but it's way too big. No way for me to enter and notice prices are pushing higher. So this uptrend is the structure. 
But notice prices are failing to reach the trend channel line. It looks like the trend may lose steam. However, since this is strong bullish, I was still thinking that we may get a high probability setup long. So I'm going to redraw the channel again. We have a new high, first entry long, pullback. We don't have a trigger above this bullish bar, so there is no second entry long here. We have a break lower, we have a second entry long here. And when I was watching this, I was expecting to get pushed above EMA and to get high low confirmation to create a new high for this uptrend. And this never happened. There was strong bearish rejection to the downside. So I was quite surprised, although this was quite steep spike. So when it is so steep, you can get a stronger correction. So when I was watching this, I redrew a downtrend like this, even though this may not be valid, because it feels like this is the proper way to approach it. You get break and you get two legs to a new extreme. But I want to leave this downtrend here because I want to talk about what is happening here. Notice what is happening. I can see that the prices pull back and they're right now bouncing higher. When I take a look at the structure, I can see that I can pull my resistance slightly higher like this and still get a confirmation here, confirmation here, confirmation here, reaction here again, and notice bounce here. And this is very important because if I see that the key level high of the day is holding again, this is indicating to me, this is crucial, that uptrend will resume. Because if this is a downtrend valid one, we're going to pull back into a train range. If this key level is going to hold, that I identified early on, high of the day key level during the pre-market structure, this is indicating that if we push above EMA, this uptrend may get new extreme and the bulls will resume, okay? I'm not going to buy just yet because we can get few pushes lower. I need to wait if I get a push above EMA confirmation and get new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short, failure. And this was my first trade for the day, felt second entry short. It is a little bit stacked, but the context here is perfect. It is a nice strong bullish bar, close above EMA. This key level is getting confirmed. Downtrend played out with the break two legs to a new extreme. I'm not looking to take second entry short because this key level confirmed the bullish bias. And this was quick scalp. And you can see my runner was stopped out instantly. You can actually extend the uptrend a little bit. This is where my runner got stopped out at break even because once the scalp is made, I pull my runner at break even because I don't want to risk anything more on the table. So at this point when I'm watching this, the structure is more bullish. Okay, we have a break. New extreme here, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. But it's flat EMA, below EMA, not really sure. Once I see second entry long like this and downtrend played out with the break and new extreme, and the bias is still bullish, notice this uptrend here, correction, holding and push above EMA. I'm hoping I can get higher low. But notice big bearish spike down and then we have an inside bar. EMA flat had the higher low form here above EMA. I was about to take it, but since we pushed down like this and we are basically back in this sideways structure, this is not looking too great now. Flat EMA it ended up working and now we have new low, new low here. First entry short pullback, second entry short failure. But at this point it is too sideways, too much of a consolidation. I can also see that we have a potential resistance up here and this is just too wide. This is not looking too strong at all. So I didn't like going long here and I was just being patient here. Notice how the uptrend is starting to lose steam. We are pushing higher, but notice the resistance right here just got confirmed. And you can see that we have small little bullish uptrend, but the main resistance is coming into play. And once I saw this, I was more looking towards felt second entry long. But it never happened. Prices pushed higher, now getting confirmation, another push higher, and prices are eventually pushing lower. All right, so when I was watching this, pay attention to this resistance, to how many highs there are, because the bullish bias basically evaporated, because notice how flat this is. This is barely working higher. And once you see so many bars failing to push above, something is happening. There is some key level right here, and prices are strongly pushing to the downside. So I'm going to redraw this. I'm going to follow the downtrend. I have strong push above, which is quite confusing. I haven't taken any trade just here, nor there is some good high priority setup. We have a break, move to a new extreme. What is the bias that I'm paying attention to? Bias is bearish because I'm seeing this resistance that is getting confirmed consistently. Notice massive bearish put to the downside. So I expect to get a felt second entry long. I have lower high here, but we didn't break below and you can't really enter below this inside bar. So lower high is not forming great. 
So I'm going to redraw a downtrend and I'm anticipating for prices to go all the way from here all the way down here. Basically right now we're in a small trading range above the main one. Okay, this is how the structure is looking. We trade it up. Right now we are going sideways. This resistance is holding. So I expect for prices to give me a safe reversal pattern, felt second entry long, because uptrend played out, we're coming off the resistance and a felt second entry long is going to confirm the bearish momentum. And notice, new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long failure. All right, this is a felt second entry long, high probability setup. Unfortunately, this is unenterable because your stop loss has to go above this first bullish signal bar. This is double bar entry. And by the time you can enter, it is way too big. So I'm marking this just as an example because it is important for us to study this and to understand the market context. But new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long, off the EMA, coming from range highs, great bearish bar, too bad it was too big, but it was a great entry. And notice, market consistently created massive push to the downside. So what I need to do, and what I did, I identified channel like this, but more importantly, I already took a look how these prices are reacting at the highs. And the same thing I did early on, I'm going to use the same way how to find a channel. I'm actually just going to delete it to make it cleaner. And this was the channel that I was playing and I was looking for. So you can already identify the channel. This early, you get a couple swings right here, sloping formation. And this is how I'm looking for these channels. Okay, so you can identify the channel early just by seeing this, okay? So I'm just watching this. Now, the structure is clearly strong bearish downtrend. So I'm looking for a second entry short to like a pullback high priority setup at key entry points. And I'm never getting anything like that. Okay. And you can see I actually misdrew it a little bit because it is a little bit hair. When I was watching it live, it actually perfectly fitted right here. Yes. And you guys can see how, let me show you. You guys can see how I had it a little bit loose. Now that it fits perfectly, it got confirmed right here. When I was watching this, so this comes from the channel and you can see first few swings here can help you identify the channel. However, you have only first entry short. This is only first entry short. So this is not a high priority setup and I cannot take it. And I can see market keeps pushing lower. Just a bunch of first entry short here, first entry short here. Not really a high priority setup. Look at the structure. Notice how strong the downtrend is and how strongly the EMA keeps projecting prices. So nothing is changing. I'm still thinking bearish. I'm still looking for high priority setup to go short. I have first entry short here, pull back second entry short, but it's all the way down here. Uptrend doesn't have new high. Feels a little bit risky. Not really like it. A market keeps pushing lower consistently. Now we have a break and a new extreme, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to think reversal. And honestly, I don't even think correction. Why I think that after this break and new extreme, the downtrend is going to continue because when I was watching this, I wanted to see this bullish correction play out and to get lower high. Why? Because notice from the very top, prices have not closed above EMA just once. EMA keeps rejecting prices every single time and this is a massive indication that this trend was very, very strong. Okay, we haven't even pushed above EMA once. So probably after you push above EMA, you're most likely going to pull back and test it. So I'm going to redraw the correction we have a first entry short pull back second entry short but second entry short is above ema uptrend played out so when i see second entry short above ema which is already indicating that second entry short is good uptrend played out good but i need to take confirmation setup i want extra information from the market that this is safe entry and notice what we have push below ema and we have lower high confirmation of the second entry short First entry short, pull back, second entry short, break new high. And we have push below EMA, lower high, great bearish bar. I tried to take this trade myself, never got filled. You can see there's a little gap. Prices never ticked higher. And this was a massive move to the downside. All right. So this is why I like going short here because we never close above EMA just once. Lower high confirmation. And this is what a high priority setup does. High priority setup basically will generate a strong momentum like this because you want to sell high at these corrections. You will never want to be chasing the market all the way down here. You want to predict where the massive move will happen. And the massive move will always happen at the important key level. Now, when I was watching this, the bearish bias still continues. We have a new low, first entry short pullback, second entry short, new high, first entry long pullback, second entry long. 
I'm going to mar this entry right here. I feel it is a little bit aggressive. It is not bad because the downturn is still very strong. But since I have a breaking new low, I was being a little bit patient. But this is a felt second entry long. Any long right now can get trapped. And you can see it was a quick, easy scalp. And market keeps working sideways. Now, when you're trading strong trend, which this is a strong trend, there are going to be multiple channels developing. Just because you have a break and you low, that doesn't mean that you can start panicking that the market may reverse. Notice how strong this is. And it's pretty typical for a strong trends to have multiple channels working. So when I was watching this, I was looking for a pattern like this. So I deleted this, copied it, put it at the bottom. And this looks like a spike, massive spike, consolidation and a spike and a channel pattern. Okay, and notice how it is fitting off of these highs right here, right here, right here, right here. So this is spike and a channel pattern. Can I take entry right here? Not really, even though it gets nicely confirmed here. This is basically flat EMA, too congested. It's getting nicely confirmed of the key entry point, but it's getting a little bit too stacked. Not really a fan of this, but it is a big bearish bar, decent entry because it is off the key entry point. Notice this is a smaller train range. Most breakouts of train ranges will fail. And what is the bias? Bearish, I expect the new low to be made because it's the first break of this downtrend. I expect lower high. I never get lower high and market is strongly continuing working lower. So at this point on, I have a break and new low even for this channel. So I need to respect the correction a little bit. Okay, so I'm not taking any shorts. I'm just being patient here. We're correcting. I'm going to redraw the uptrend. And notice we have a break. I was about to take lower high here because at that point it's starting to look like a downtrend may resume, but we don't have a trigger below this bar right here and market keeps reversing. All right, so at this point on, I was adapting again because notice we have a strong push below EMA and it looks like there's another wider pattern. This is common. When the trend is strong, when the bottom is falling off and everybody is selling, there's going to be a pattern wider developing and unfolding. So I was looking at this channel right here at that point, just copied it, redrew it. This is the first break for this downtrend. So I expect to create new extreme, low high, never get low high and another situation right here, just market continue pushing lower. And the same situation here, I get just multiple consolidations. I pretty much cannot enter here. This is too stacked. You have a new low, there's time for correction. And right here, when I was watching this, I was actually on a break, but I can see that we have a break new high. We have a lot of bars stacked next to each other. EMA is being completely flat. Notice how stacked this is. You have a lot of flat EMA. This is completely flat at this point. This is no trade zone. And you can see prices are working higher. So I'm gonna zoom out and since I see such a massive downtrend, which is tremendous, after breaking a new extreme, I expect correction or reversal according to trend line rule. Okay, but since this was such a massive downtrend, it's most likely not going to get reversed quickly. I'm going to try to identify a trading range. And this is only reasonable high where the trading range may be because we have a break new low, so I expect correction phase. In the meantime, I'm following the shortened channels. This is pretty much no trade zone. I don't want to go short too early because we are correcting. I don't want to go long. Can I redraw? You can actually see that we're getting confirmation here. I cannot redraw wider uptrend like this. This is too wide. We are in a trading range structure. We trade it down. Bias is mainly bearish. So I'm still leaning towards bearish bias. I'm not really looking for longs. I'm just looking to sell. And notice strong push below EMA confirming the bearish momentum. We have new high, first entry long, so we can get a felt second entry long. Notice first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. Felt second entry long, high probability setup. This is my second and the last trade for the day. Waited for a long time. It ticked higher, reverse down, and notice everybody who's playing this wider pattern is getting trapped. When you're taking a trap, you need to think about how tempting it looks for the opposite side. And this right here looks very tempting for the bulls. Nice bullish bar. Off to buy the pattern, which is what you don't want to follow. You're in the triggering structure and you trade it down a strong trend. A big bearish bar actually took it on engulfing and quick easy scalp. And you can see market ended up closing. So when you're identifying the channels, always look for the first few swings at the highs or at the lows. And they will just set up the trend line and the trend line will possibly 
get confirmed. If it won't get confirmed, it doesn't matter. You will delete it and you will adapt to structure and find another pattern because I keep drawing these channels all the time. It is completely normal for you to redraw channels. It gets easier with time and with time you'll be able to distinguish which patterns are most likely to be the valid ones. I'm going to talk to you next time.